Hi everyone, David Maley here from Tech Know How, and today I'm going to show you something really cool and that most people don't know about. Okay, so this right here in front of us is a Power BI dashboard, and it's for ABC Clothing Company. It could be any for anything; it doesn't matter. Here's the data down below. You can see in this table right here, items, belt, it's clothing stuff, pants, socks, whatever. We got item number, item, item number, group. You know, is it an accessory? Is it clothing? Is it footwear? Count amount, profit. And then I put a calculated column in here for average profit uh, per item, which is simple to do. Okay, you've got count and you've got uh, the profit and you can easily figure that out. But what I'm gonna show you here is based on this item number, what if I get data, right? If I get a bunch of social security numbers, I get a bunch of card numbers, I get a bunch of item numbers as in this case, and somebody gives me a list and I wanna filter based on a list. Now, you know that with slicers in Power BI, you can go and bring over something from here like item number and make a filter out of it. I could go here and put a filter on this page, but now I'm limited to if I use is equals to, right? I can only put in two. That's it. But what if I want to put in more? If I want to bring in a whole list of any amount, 10 items, 15 items, 5 items, 100 items, whatever it is, right? how do I do that? So let's close out of this. Let's minimize this so I can show you this a little bit better. And I'm going to focus on this visuals right here. And so there's this thing called a mass filter, or actually the full name for it is the, yeah, it's, it's mass filter. But what you want to do is you want to go and click these three buttons. It doesn't come standard like these visualizations are. You have to add it into Power BI. So you're going to click these three buttons here to get more visuals. And you're going to look for something. You're going to search. It's called the mass filter. So you would just go in here. You would click this, get more visuals. This will pop up in a few seconds here. Maybe it's a little slow today. There we go. And when this pops up, you would type in here, search mass filter. Just like this, mass filter. Might be helped if I spell it correctly. There it is right there. This one right here is what you're gonna use. There's a mass slicer. I'm not dealing with that today. We're dealing with the mass filter. So then you just click on that to select it. It adds it down here instead of up here. And I uh, see it right here. So you just create a new visual based on that. And this is it right here. And basically what this does, it lets me import a list. So I can go and take a notepad file. So let's go get a notepad file right here that has a list. We've got a list of six items that I know already picked from here. And if I just copy this, all right, and I minimize this, I can go right in here and paste those six right there. There they are. And then when I want, it's not filtered yet, but what I have to do is I have to hit this filter button. So there's filter and X. Filter means apply the filter. X means delete these. As long as they're in there, it's going to filter by them. So right now we've got all the items. So I filter by that. I just click this. And there you go. Now it's filtered to just those six items. So this is really helpful when dealing with store numbers, store number lists, item number lists. Uh, let's see credit card numbers, maybe if you deal with that kind of data, um, customer numbers, student IDs, anything we're going to have a list of numerical data. This is the filter to use. It's very simple to use. Again, it's called the mass filter. And look at how quick and easy it is. And then what you can do is this is now automated because I can pass this onto the users, whoever it is, like if it's the uh, category department or uh, loyalty department, and they can go and put in their own like coupon IDs or they can go put in uh, marking numbers or uh, whatever it is they want to put in. They can put in lists themselves. They don't need to come back to me to go and open up the filter and custom hard code in the numbers of two items every time. They can just put in a list and they're good to go. Hope you found this helpful and informational. It's a great thing to use this mass filter. I use it a lot on dashboards for users where they're going to be inputting lists of numerical data. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this helpful and informational and have a great day.